So last week I compared three of the best £500 smartphones that you can buy right now in early 2019. The OnePlus 6T, the Honor View 20 and Xiaomi's Mi Mix 3 which has finally hit the UK. Now there's no denying that all three of these smartphones pack impressive value for money, offering some premium specs across the board for half the cost of an iPhone XS or a Galaxy Note 9. But how do they actually compare when it comes to that camera tech? Well I've been testing them side by side for a few days now and here is how they stack up for photo and video quality. And don't forget for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech to pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up let's take a look at the sexy specs when it comes to those rear cameras. First up the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 which boasts a 12 megapixel primary lens f1.8 aperture with a bit of optical image stabilization thrown in and that's backed by a secondary 12 megapixel lens, this one using a Samsung sensor instead of a Sony. The OnePlus 6T also has a dual lens arrangement, it's a 16 megapixel primary lens f1.7 again with optical image stabilization. And this one's backed by a secondary 20 megapixel lens again f1.7 and this time it's a dual Sony sensor arrangement. As for the Honor View 20, this actually has a single lens setup, a 48 megapixel primary lens with f1.8 aperture. You do actually get a time of flight camera on board as well, which can be used for 3D modeling, but right now it appears to be completely redundant. Now dive on into the camera apps and both the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 and the Honor View 20 sport an AI mode. This is basically supposed to create more visually appealing results when certain subjects are recognized, such as a fluffy pet or a slice of pizza. Truth be told, the Mi Mix 3's AI feature doesn't really seem to make much difference the majority of the time, even when conditions are met. You'll get slightly boosted colours, most noticeably when snapping a bright blue sky, but we found that the photo results were basically solid with or without this mode activated. In comparison, the View 20's AI mode makes a more obvious impact at times, in particular automatically switching to portrait mode when grabbing a macro snap or shooting a human subject. In good conditions, all three phones here produce attractive detailed pics that look sharp when chucked up onto a big screen. Colours can occasionally appear a little bit washed out on the OnePlus 6T, a problem which doesn't tend to affect the other mobiles here, but on the whole they are all well up to the job of making your memories. When it comes to those high contrast shots, the OnePlus 6T tends to produce slightly brighter photos than the Honor and Xiaomi smartphones. Unfortunately this does mean you'll see the occasional bit of blood and then that previous problem with saturated colours. The Honor View 20 was definitely the most consistent performer in HDR situations, rarely capturing any soft or overexposed results. With the standard auto mode active, the Mi Mix 3 is definitely the best of the bunch when it comes to night shots. Brighter areas tend to be overexposed by the OnePlus 6T and the View 20, while Xiaomi's phone produces an attractive, well-balanced shot almost every time. However, all three phones also boast their own night mode, which produces a sharp and detailed photo in those low-light conditions. It's basically a long exposure method that works impressively well in each case without the need for a tripod. Once again, the Mi Mix 3 impressed us the most here, with brighter, super clear results. The Honor View 20 still occasionally overexposes those brighter elements within the frame, while the OnePlus 6T's night mode looks rather unnatural and once again blows out those lighter bits. Portrait mode also works a charm with all three handsets here. They pretty much all manage to capture a well-defined subject while the background is successfully blurred out. The View 20 does occasionally stumble thanks to its single lens setup, but more often than not it does the job just fine. On the video front, you can capture up to 4K resolution footage, no matter your favourite here. Although the OnePlus 6T and the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3 can shoot that Ultra HD video at a stunning 60 frames per second, while the Honor View 20 sticks with just 30 FPS at that top resolution. So while clips shot on all three phones are absolutely stacked with fine detail, you can achieve more natural looking footage with the OnePlus and Xiaomi phones. As for image stabilisation, the OnePlus 6T and the Honor View 20 are tied here. Both do a solid job of keeping things smooth and stable when you're moving about and shooting at the the same time. The Mi Mix 3 isn't too far off but things are a little bit more janky when you're walking about the place. And if you want to take video at night, well the results are very similar with all three here, i.e. not amazing, but still pretty typical for a smartphone. You can expect a fair bit of grey and plenty of murkiness and some oversaturation with any lighter elements. So now let's swap to those front facing cameras for a bit of hot selfie action. So Xiaomi's Mi Mix 3 definitely has the most intriguing selfie tech here. You get a 24 megapixel primary snapper and there's actually a secondary 2 megapixel depth sensor on board as well. And these lenses are actually hidden away inside of the phone, you have to slide up the back in order to expose them. And the OnePlus 6T it's a lot more straightforward, just a 16 megapixel single lens snapper. Same on the Honor View 20, it's a 25 megapixel in that funky punch hole configuration. Yeah, everyday selfies in decent lighting conditions really can't be faulted on any of these blogs. 
You can expect natural looking skin tones most of the time, although the OnePlus 6T did occasionally make me look even more pale than I actually am in real life. I mean, I know I'm northern, but I'm not a f***ing vampire. Still, the OnePlus and Honor phones captured accurate portrait shots almost every single time, just like the Mi Mix 3, despite their lack of a dedicated depth sensor. The Mi Mix 3 is also the only phone here packing an actual LED flash. The other two handsets simply light up the screen to illuminate your face at night. But in those low light conditions, I did find that the Mi Mix 3 occasionally produced quite soft shots regardless. And that's with all that rubbish beauty mode shenanigans well and truly disabled. My favourite phone here was actually the View 20, which captured natural looking, accurate results almost every single time. And if you're into a bit of vlogging or whatnot, then you can shoot a nice bit of video, of course, with those front facing cameras too. In all three cases, they top out at full HD 1080p resolution. You can't shoot at up to 4K resolution. As you can see, there's quite clearly a good bit of difference when it comes to the video and the audio quality between the three as well. We actually prefer this one here, the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3, especially as it's got this nice wide angle view uh, when shooting with that selfie camera. Very, very good if you're trying to get a good bit of background action on the go, if you're trying to shoot yourself with a bunch of mates. And that right there is my full comparison of these three £500 smartphones when it comes to the photo and the video quality. As you see, all three are definitely up to the job of capturing great looking everyday memories, whether you're into snapping photos, capturing home movies, whatever you want to do. So which one is your personal favourite? Definitely let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Cheers everyone, love you!